what's up everybody we are heading out to pull apart and it is a crappy day outside oh uh, man that uh yesterday was a beautiful day and i got a text saying that uh they got a tsx with the type s which i guess all the tsx 2.4s or whatever but uh i had a doctor appointment yesterday and by the time i got out of the doctor's we only had about what 45 minutes because by the time we left we would have left uh, it takes an hour and 15 minutes to get there from where we are and we went we'd only had 45 minutes to pull the motor and that wasn't happening so uh god you fart again though killing me but uh <laughs> kept the mask on it's like getting rough up in here but uh anyways so yes it is a crappy rainy gross day heading to pull apart. Hope it's going to stop raining by the time we get there. That'll give us about three and a half hours to pull this motor out. If somebody hasn't already got it because yesterday was a beautiful day and now everybody's wrapped in these things and pull apart. And if not, we're just going to have a good time walking around seeing what we can find. Here's how crappy the weather is. And my windshield wipers aren't working with the crap and that is on high speed and all that right there in the middle, it ain't even getting it. So I can't see it. It's right in my line of sight. We'll keep you updated along the way. We're going to stop at Wendy's and get some and then uh, get on out there and see what we can find. We got our Wendy's. We got our Wendy's. Here. Dominic had to poop because he was stinking up the car. Alex, how Yeah, buddy. Not bad right there. Fresh. Looks good. Got fries, nuggets, and sweet and sour sauce. Fries any good today? I haven't even tasted them. What you eating? Food. Oh my lord. Here's our luck right here. Sitting in bumper to bumper traffic with a big old it's wreck going. up here. It says the right lane shut down and we're only three miles away. This is not good. It's 149. They close at 5. We have to check out by 530. We need to be in there by 2 to have three hours to pull this motor. So see how it goes well apparently uh it's a big old truck right there oh it's all over the road yeah yuck 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 containers all kind of good stuff can we get back over now we're good to go well fellas we made it we're about to get this tsx motor out and i was so excited because everything looks super clean super nice uh car looks nice i don't know it was wrecked over here like it sat at the body shop for a long time and they never paid for it or something i assume that is what was wrong with it but I, oh it got hit again after they got it out of the body shop but you know how stuff happens like that with wrecks and then you don't know if they're gonna be able to get it so we fist and start ripping this thing out and uh we got two and a half hours to get it done i'll keep you posted Oh lord guys we've been at this for an hour and a half i think since we got back here hour and 20 minutes something like that we've been flying through it uh we got everything disconnected now ready to go so gavin's getting the last bracket off so That's we can get the uh, uh last bracket off so we can get that uh starter bolt out that goes through to the engine block to the trans and then once that comes off uh we got the half shaft disconnected from the back and we're trying to leave the suspension in there. We're gonna come straight out. We're gonna remove the hood and all that good stuff. So now uh, we might have to take off that one more bolt right there to help let that slide around. But if not, everything's ready to go. We're gonna leave that transmission right in. We're gonna whoop, that motor straight on out here in a few minutes. This was at a uh, actual dealership and it probably sat there forever. And now it, say, it says it starts 10, 14, 20. So uh, we looked at it. Whew. Man, we got this thing over here, fixing to connect it. Got everything loose on it. Don, Dominic's trying to get the seat belts tied up on there. Someone lifted out because we forgot a chain. Half shaft, everything's out literally. I mean, you see the trans is cracked open right there. It is ready to go. We got to put pressure on it. I, I don't want to do anything else. I don't want it to fall on us or anything, but uh, I'm super stoked that this thing says it crunk and this car is in really good shape besides that bodywork on the other side. So that means it was sitting at a dealership didn't get paid for or got totaled or something and we just hit the jackpot it had keys in it had everything and that is rare for pull apart and i wish that i would have had a battery starter so i could have turned the car over or looked at it and see how many miles were on it but 
is what it is. He's tying this thing up. We're fixing to get this thing lifted, and I'll show you some of that. In a 146, 489. Not bad at all. Oh my God, a bolt just gave us hell for 35 minutes. They're about to close. Finally coming up now. Oh Jesus, that was a flying K24 right there, literally. All right, keep going. Huh. Where's that snippy's at? Oh. All right. Yeah, I was gonna snippy snippy this. The red snippy snippies. All righty. Here we go. Ready, set, disengage. Boom. All right. All right, we're fixing to pull this thing out and go get somebody and I'll show you when we get it on the trash floor in the SUV. spider bug. That is awesome. Whoever welded this up. That was really cool. Cool and creative for Halloween. We still it pull apart. See, it only has uh, six legs, but hey, that's still cool. We got this TSX motor out. They're going to meet us down there. I'm wore out. It's all the way at the end of the thing. And good Lord, when the boys just had to walk back down there. a day i know it looks like it's bright behind me that's just the light reflecting off the cloud it's so weird how that's happening but it is dark 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 i'm wore out i done ran all the way to the front went all the way to the back and my heart is going nine to nothing and both the boys were in the porta potties so couldn't get them to go back down there and meet him so now we're heading back up to the front and pay for this thing get this thing loaded up on the uh pilot we couldn't drive the truck today because uh it was down in the hole and it got stuck and uh, so I couldn't bring a core back today with me either. So we're going to come back up here anyways because Gavin wants to get one of these 2JZs out of one of these uh, either SC300s or one of these IS300s. I'd rather it be one of the old SC300s or old GS300s so it's got the better bot. But uh, whew, I would like to have a VTI ahead now. But heading on up here, I'm going to pay for this. Check y'all in when I get it in the uh, SUV. Got a plane coming in for a landing at the Birmingham International Airport. I think it's international. Got this thing loaded up on the SUV. Check that out. Oh, yeah. Got everything rocked down. It's going to be one of them ride homes like that. I put the cardboard down. Got that in there good. That's locked down good. If it's going put two more straps on it, we'll be on the way. All right. We are all strapped down, ready to rock and roll. Heading to the house. This should stay up in here. Oh, I'm showing it on video. There we go. That's the charging harness, which I broke accidentally because I was mad. And I pulled and sucker snap off the knock sensor. That should be good to go. We're going to rock and roll with it right there. That ain't going nowhere. Here we go. Now, I'm get up I forgot about that. I'm gonna put it in reverse. Uh-oh. Look at there, you can see the motor. I can. On the back. Where is that light at? Hang on. There, you can see it now. See? That's all I see on my reverse camera. <laughs> <laughs> and train over there. And there's, oh, I don't know what that is right there. There's another train right there. All these uh, metal scrap yards and stuff through here. Double train on both sides. We missed it. Well, I missed getting on camera. We saw both the trains coming at us. It's time to head over to Hamburger Heaven and get some grub. Well, it's still on and we made it to Hamburger Heaven. You can't see the sign, but right there, Hamburger Heaven. Boy, this place has some amazing, amazing food. We're about to eat. These kids are over here being goofy still. This is nice and tight. Holy moly. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That feels like it's gonna pop. I think that's tight enough. 
we're gonna end up having problems with that going down the road if not definitely don't want that to pop y'all ready to go eat some grub yeah it's only getting under cold it's oh it's not too cold 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 Ooh. we are shoving our face from hamburger heaven and it is super duper good all this good stuff we didn't have wendy's earlier today four for fours that uh i'm gonna tell you we got the big ted special that uh yeah not too shabby 829 for a meal per person but uh well worth it well worth it that stuff is delicious oh you got some onion rings with yours dang um let me show you this i don't know what they did over it pull apart but ended up they tried to charge me for the uh, engine covers at 1087, which is part of the motor for accessory. So it was 171, $55 core. I didn't have a core with me. I usually do, but my dually was stuck because it's been raining down the hole. So we had to carry a the SUV, but. So, normally it's around 2.0, I don't know, it's usually not too bad after tax and everything, it's like 2.04, but uh, it was 2.70, but that don't make no sense because they only charged me 2.40, and I have no clue why, but uh, you look on right there, it's 2.40. Opposed to where it should have been 270. Don't make no sense, but it is what it is. And, uh, but I hope y'all enjoyed that quick trip to pull apart. And, uh, as Gavin said, it, it was not a trip, quick trip to pull apart. It is on my face. Bad long day. Like, about broke my finger. We got in and out of there pretty quick for what, you know, a big motor pool. <laughs> we had problems. And man, it was, it was, it was three hours. We got there too. We were done about by that by the time we had to get them get it to load up and all that going and plan to be there for at least four hours when you do a motor swap we were we were booking on it pretty good we ran into a few problems and uh realistically we were done in about two hours but not a motor swap. Motor. oh i'm sorry a pull a motor wasn't a motor swap but on average give yourself plenty of time to get there and uh you know never know if they're going to be good or not that was just a luckily that one was from a dealership had all the paperwork on the dash from what it was there for and what it had and the mileage and said it started and the car you could see that it had body work done to it so you know it was a good motor and that was a clean car inside and out uh it looked like it was well taken care of but i was super stoked super excited about that i hope y'all enjoyed if you did subscribe i need some subscribers and then uh, definitely hit that like button help you learn something go to pull apart find you some tsx motors better than paying a thousand dollars a spot for them. but uh we'll get home we'll do a compression test on it we'll get all that stuff and i'll show you next time and show you how to do a compression test on it but uh we'll catch you soon i had to show you these half pound burgers they are freaking delicious huge <laughs> man you already back there crapping already jesus